approximately three days ago, Goomba. Approximately three days ago. Uh, you know, we sparked back up at uh, 1 a.m., kind of like tonight. Uh, and we streamed, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Because I really wanted to beat the game. Um, but you know, I just remember Goomba, I'm really that nigga. I'm really him, bro. Like, I'm really him, bro. These other niggas not like me. I'm not like these other niggas. I'm not like them, bro. I'm, I'm a little different. I'm a little different. This is actually gonna be my last time doing this because we will win. Unfortunately, you are not smarter than a fifth grader. You're fucking joking. Unfortunately, you are not smarter than a fifth grader, but we'd love to give you another chance. I was this close. Unfortunately, you are not smarter than a fifth grader, but we'd love to see you here later. Unfortunately, this has been awful for me every single fucking time. Fifth. The correct answer is autonomy. Good try. Chose the wrong one. Time to add up the points you burned. We played. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Three nights ago, and we choked on the last question in fifth grade. But I'm here, up back to make sure you guys know. Yes, you watching this to make sure you know that I'm smarter than a fifth grader. I went to college. I got the knowledge. I got a degree. So I'm smarter than a fifth grader. I have to be. There's no way. That was just a fluke. Three nights ago was a fluke. We're not going to choke again. All right. I didn't know what an irony was. I didn't know what a baton in me was. Whatever the f*** is. Can't curse on YouTube. What? I didn't know what that was. All right. But we're back. And we're better than ever. So, glass is on. <laughs> Song on. Let's, go get lead. Let's get into it. I realize I can't play music because I gotta listen to the question. If been cut down, which of these methods provides the most accurate estimate of its age? It's the rings on the inside. Counting its rings. It's the rings, yep. Fussy, baby. Pick the right answer. Hell yeah, baby. I'm the fussiest. And we've got your answer. All right, so that's answer number yeah. one in the books. That means GG, the easy. answer is counting its rings. Too yeah. easy. You get 100 points. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Easy. So, Eli, thanks for coming to class. I hate you Eli, by the way. Fussy baby, please pick a subject for this spelling. Question. It bring out your honey for this next spelling question. In spelling the seven days of the week, how many times does the letter D appear? Five. Seven. Eight. Okay, okay, okay. Fussy baby, choose. Chat, okay, let's think about this. So it, it's seven automatically because there's day in every single day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Mo Sunday. Okay? So there's already seven. We know there's at least seven. Are there any other Ds? Monday? No. Tuesday? T-U-E-S? No. Wednesday? It's eight. It's eight. Because WED, W-E-D-N-E-S-D-A-Y. Wednesday has two. Wednesday has two. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Give Sunday. Your yep. answer. It's eight. Here's the answer. Woo! Goomba, well, you're the smart, baby. The answer is... You're smart. Eight. Well done. You get 100 points. Bro, like, you see how chopped that nigga Eli is, bro? He's disgusting looking. But that's enough from me. All right, yep. Adios. She dumb thick, though. I'm not gonna lie. Hi. I'm Teddy. Let's meet a new classmate at... Yay! I, uh, Teddy. Teddy really just... Yeah. Cool. You can call me Joaquin. And my favorite... Like, all my classmates Fussy are idiots. Baby. Pick a subject for this question. Mm. There are... We'll do it by the book for the literature question. According to the Mother Goose nursery rhyme... Hell nah, they the did not, Goomba. jumped over the... What? You boosted my server? Thank you, Sloth. Huddle. We gotta get that shit up and running. I'm not gonna lie. Fence. Moon. A cow jumped over the moon. Right? Fussy baby. Pick out your answer. Right? Cow jumped over the moon. And the answer is in. 
Yeah. Well, the answer is. Kyle jumped over the moon. Moon. Yeah. Great work. You get 150 points. So, Joaquin, thanks for joining us. Don't care about you, Joaquin. Fussy baby. Pick a good subject for the question. All right, let's go. You be sure to make it count for this counting question. Yep, yep, we get it. We get it. Let's go. Come on, come on. We got to keep this what rolling. Is ten rolling. What raised to the second power? Ten, ten, ten squared. Fussy ten times baby. ten is a hundred. Choose us an answer. Yep, yep. Oh, it's a hundred. Easy. Come on, Chat. We in third grade. We in third yeah. grade. And we in third grade. That's the answer. One hundred. <laughs> Thank you, Chat. We're in third grade. Come on. Nice work. You get one hundred and fifty points. Thank you. Thank you. I told you we're not getting a single one wrong. This is thirty minutes it's or less. to look at the points. I don't. I don't care about the points, bro. Come on. Chop chop. Uh, that's enough for me. All right, switch it back to the baddie. Stop the cap. Hey Hell nah, there is no Let's cap, bro. We stay going. 30 minutes or less. It's time. 30 minutes or we'll less. say hi to our new classmate and... 30 Gabe. minutes or less. Yes. Who is this, Gabe? Oh, call me Haley. I'm really good at... Ew. Fussy. Haley's from Fussy. Ireland. Here's your subject for this question. There is... Life sciences. Become one with nature in this plant's question. Chad, this is third grade. True or false? Natural resin can come from trees. Yo, Haley, how you feeling Fussy about this one? baby, please pick an answer. How you feeling about this one, Haley? So, Haley, any thoughts on it? Mm, I'm not really sure. Yeah, you're dumb as shit, bitch. It's true. We got Duh. the answer. Yes. Come on. Of course so it comes the from the real trees. answer is? It comes from the bark in the trees. True. You're yes. right. You got <laughs> 200 points. <laughs> Let's go. All right, one more and we're in fourth grade. One more and we're in fourth grade. So, Haley, thank you for helping. Don't care, never ask. Fussy baby, let's take a peek at the subject. Spelling, spelling, yeah. spelling, Math, spelling. Let's take a letter at a time. Spelling. Spelling question. How many times does the letter A appear in the following word? Marshmallow. Marsh marshmallow. Marshmallow. It's marshmallow. One, two. Three. Fussy it's baby. Marshmallow. What's the answer? Two. Two. We've got it now. Bro, I'm not fing illiterate, man. So it's the right two. It's two. Is... It's two. It's two. Two. Good job. You get two hundred points. It's two. Look, 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 look. But it's time we swap hosts. It's yours now, Teddy. Marshmallow, I typed it. Here we go, here we go. We're in fourth grade now. Get ready now. It's going to get tougher in the fourth grade. Every here it is. Question here, there's going to be a new classmate, so we'll say bye for now. Marshmallow is a good word. Goodbye. I like it. See you later, Holly. Yes. All right, we got, yeah. we got. Halima? Who the fuck is this? Fussy baby. Take a look at these subjects. Is it... Vocabulary, measurements, social Fuck it. studies. Reading, reading, reading. reading. Let's turn the page to the next literature question. Chat, I'm not gonna lie, I feel very terrible about this question. I I think I think I picked the wrong one, bro. I think I should have did vocabulary. First published in 1847, the novel Jane Eyre was written by what female English author? Jane Austen. Charlotte Bronte, George Eliot. Fussy baby, it's your chance to answer. Bro, how you gonna say which American female author and then you can say George Eliot, bro? That is a biggest name, man. George Eliot? No, you can't tell me the answer. I think it's Jane Austen, though. I think it's Jane Austen. If I if I had to say it's Jane so, Austen. Halima, what are you thinking? I really don't know what it could be. Yeah, because you're dumb as it's shit. It's just a tough question. Well then. Okay, okay. All right, so for this one, I'm going to ask the class. But chat, 
like we did it before asking the class is asking you guys so i think i think it's jane austen jane Eyre. who wrote jane Eyre? it was bront all right the class says bront the question the class says bront 1847 the novel all right and it is locked in so chat now we can't use so that we can't use is... the cheat we asked the class, which is Charlotte you guys. Bronte. You're correct. You get 250 yes. points. Let's go. All right, one more and we're in fifth grade. One more and we're in fifth grade. So, Halima, thanks for joining. I don't care. Fussy baby, let's find you a good question. Math, We've math. Got unlock your inner mathematician. Math. In the next question. I got my Evenly pencil. bisecting a 90 degree angle creates two angles of how many degrees? Evenly bisecting, that means it's two. 90 divided by two is 45, chat. Fussy baby, pick an answer for us. It's 45. Cause look, I'll show you. Boom, boom. 45 is acute. Look, look. So each, each one that I did, those are both 45 degree angles. Cause it has to equal 90. You see, you see? Easy. I did this. I could do that in my sleep. 45 is an acute angle. It is. It's now locked in. Come on, show me the Yay. money. Show me the money. And the correct show answer me the money. is show me the money. 45 degrees. Thank you. That Yay. means you get 250 points. Thank you. Fuck, I don't get the game either. I can't believe it. I hope you're ready. It's time for. Fifth grade. Every question Chad, is now worth here. 300 points. We'll say ah. hi to a new classmate and bye to the old one. We're here, fifth grade. Good luck. I've dreamt Look for times like this, baby. It's a nut consistency. Oh, God. I heard nuts good for, like, facial cleanse, though. Never tried it. All right, we're going to do life sciences. Come on. Come on. The weeds in the garden of this plant question. Here it is. Please, please. Which of these is an adaptation a cactus has developed in order to allow it to quickly absorb water when it rains? Waxy stems, thick spines, shallow root system. Give us your answer. That's just next level fruity. Yeah, like I said, I've never tried it. Uh, <laughs> Yo, so Isaac, how so, you feeling? Isaac, what are we feeling? I couldn't even guess the answer. You're f Useless, this is a man. real hard question. Got it. Chat. Okay. Okay. The thing is, if I remember correctly, cactuses, the reason why they can absorb the water is because they have a pointy, the, the spikes. So they don't actually have like leaves or anything. So the water just stays in, right? The way that I see it, right? A waxy stem wouldn't be good for absorbing water because wax has like a, uh, it, it's like too thick. It's too thick for the water. So I don't think it's waxy stems. Thick spines. Uh, no, but the thick the, the thick spines though? I don't think I feel like that would uh, Yeah, see wax is hydrophobic. I know it's not gonna be the wax, but and then shallow root system also confuses me though, because like maybe it's something about I know the roots are what's gonna suck up the water, bro. This is on me. This is on me. Well, I choke in fifth grade again, bro. I can't choke, bro. But I, I don't think it's shallow. I don't think it's shallow. All right. I'll say chat. the question once more. Chad, we gonna cheat. We gonna do new question. We gonna do new question. Your answer is in. Yeah. You've picked a cheat. We gonna do oh. new question. Specifically, you've chosen to get a new question. You'll get a new question of the same category. If I no were to have answered cheating. this one, I'm not going to lie. Luck. I would have picked roots. Transpiration refers to the evaporation of what liquid from a plant into the atmosphere? Sap. Nectar. Water. Fussy baby. Please pick your answer. Chat. This one is water. Transpiration. Perspiration is when it comes down. So transpiration is definitely when it comes, it goes up. That's easy. It's, it's water. It's water. 
Bro, because sap and nectar aren't going to fucking evaporate into the air just regularly. Like, they, people eat that. They eat this. So it's water. It's water, 100%. I mean, I can't even fucking cheat. How do you so, feel about this one, Isaac? Isaac? You're dumb. I don't need to hear your answer. It's water. The answer is actually... Come on, come on. Show me the money, baby. Water. Yay. You got this. <laughs> you get 300 points. Yes. I told you I was a scientist in my question. fucking youth. It's... Shallow root system. I told you I would do roots. for the points, but it's nice to know more. Tell one more. One more. This is the god run that I've been waiting for. So, Spelling. You have Spelling. We hope this I'm going to show y'all I'm not illiterate. Any trouble. How Come many on. times does the letter I appear I. in the spelling of the following word? I. Usable. Usable. Zero. One. There's no Two. I's in usable, baby. Zero. Zero. Pussy, baby. Zero. An We're going to sixth grade. 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 <laughs> and the real We're going answer to sixth is zero. Yay. Good work. <laughs> you get three hundred points. Yes. 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 It's time we swap hosts. Say hello, Teddy. Here it is, baby. Sixth grade. This is it. And it's sixth grade. Come on. I hope you get this one right. There's Come on. There's only one question, but it's worth 500 points. Let's go, team. We got this. I feel like, I feel like vocab is bad. I don't know vocabulary words. I'm not going to lie. Social studies, horrid. I don't know social studies. Measurements. Measurements because I don't know the, the conversions. I don't know the conversions. It. Come on! It's the final question. You can do it. I know Let's I can, Teddy. I know, really I know. You are smarter than a fifth grader. I am, what I am. Latin motto that appears on US currency means out of many, one. E pluribus unum! Excelsior. E pluribus unum! E pluribus unum. E pluribus unum! Six semper tyrannis. I knew this one! I knew this one! Fussy Let's baby. Go. Which is the answer? Yes! 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 And yes. it is locked in. Yes. And the actual answer is... Hip <laughs> what? E pluribus yeah. unum. That means you get 500 points. We did it, Ted! We did it! Come on. It's time to check out the final scores. Congratulations. You did a great job. Time to...